Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game SO Dark Undertaking series on the Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano Project, more specifically in this instance the Amiga Core, because just recently the Castlevania AGA team updated the build of Castlevania Remake for Amiga, giving us a ton of new features, some new music, and some improvements. And last time I talked about this video, everyone was excited, so I figured we would do a follow-up seeing what is new and kind of hyping this project up because I always love van games, especially when they take place in the Castlevania universe. Before I get to fire involved, do me a huge favor down below, hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined to want to support the channel, I got a Patreon link down below as well. But if you didn't see my previous video, you haven't seen the news on Castlevania AGA. This is basically an entire remake of Castlevania for the Amiga platform. And somebody like me isn't super familiar with Amiga because I didn't grow up with that. And most of my experience comes with it by playing on the Mr. FPGA core, which we're doing here today. And compared to the version of Castlevania on Amiga, this is 100% a better product. It's got an entirely new redrawn Simon Belmont sprite. It's got some new music. Some is still placeholder. And there's been a lot of bug fixes since the last time we talked about this game. And honestly, it is just such a wild experience to play a quote-unquote new Castlevania game on the Amiga on Mr. FPGA. Because obviously Castlevania is one of the most iconic series around, and it pretty much needs to have as many new games as possible, in my opinion. And it's not like Konami gives us very many whatsoever outside of the Haunted Castle remake, which was a 10 out of 10 if you haven't played that game definitely check it out but just seeing the original Castlevania redrawn on the Amiga here, it looks absolutely stunning. The artists and developers here have a great handle on the Amiga hardware and really are showing exactly how it can shine. Because honestly, the Amiga, not something I'm super familiar with, but this impresses me every single day and twice on Sundays to just how good it genuinely looks. Sure, there's still going to be some bugs here, some of it ironed out. It is not a finished game yet in the way that it's gotten completely polished and is ready to ship, but it is getting so incredibly close and honestly, you can play it from start to finish and have a metric ton of fun and that's all you would ever expect out of something like Castlevania on Amiga as a fan game. And you can see as you transition from one screen to the other there can be a little bit of garbage on the screen but otherwise it's looking pretty good at this point in time and the wall meets where the wall meet should be so 10 out of 10 for something like that. And honestly this entire game so far is a 10 out of 10 in the effort department. Yes there's bugs but you can tell that the developers love this game and really want to do absolutely everything they can with it and that is always fun to see and I know a lot of people like to ask well why make stuff like this there's already so many different ways to play castlevania why not make a new game and the reality is i always answer because people can just be excited when we get projects like this don't think to yourself well they could have made something different honestly every single fan game every single new game we get for any platform that's good should be celebrated so don't worry too much about somebody's intentions just enjoy the game and play it i will leave a link in the description below you can play this on real amiga hardware you can play it on mr fpga and i didn't test it on amiga emulation but i would assume it works well there and honestly big thanks to Andy D for helping with this footage as well he's got a whole Amiga setup on his mister with some networking going on that I really don't understand how it works because again Amiga just really isn't my thing but as we just kind of take a look at the screens here all of the graphics look incredible all of the pixel art is there again there's a little bit of weirdness in the screen transitions but otherwise you would really have no idea that this was work in progress if you just took a screenshot of it all of the animations of the whip that Simon's holding there all of the transitions look super good unless you're going vertical and I'm not sure if that's just something in the Amiga hardware that has a problem if you know about Amiga specifically and if there's any issues with sort of vertical screen scrolling leave me a comment down below because I would be curious but this is just so much fun to see and there is some new reprogrammed music as well on the demo not every single level is going to have the music some of it's going to be placeholder but of course I'm going to give you a sample in just a moment but I love seeing the giant bat drop down here the boss in the first level of the original Castlevania it looks so good on Amiga with that wing flap animation in the fireballs this feels like something that was a retail release back in the day not a fan game in 2024 but i told you i'd give you a soundtrack sample so go ahead and listen to the music and hear what it sounds like coming out of the amiga hardware you will see a little bug there but honestly it's a pretty buttoned up experience but here comes this music it's a 10 out of 10 so enjoy and i'll be right back
Absolutely awesome music. What else would you expect from the original Castlevania soundtrack coming out of Amika, which always had good tunes? And you'll see here you do get an option in the menu as well as a music test, so you can just go ahead and listen to some of that new music as well. As you move a little bit further into the demo, I'm kind of just showing you the introductory levels because they are the most fully set up and the most fun in my opinion. All of the levels to the back end of the game work totally fine, but I feel like the front levels have the most balance and the most polish on them. But the only wrong way to play this game is not to check it out in any way, shape, or form because it is so much fun and I know you've played Castlevania a hundred times on a hundred different platforms but just play it one more time on Amiga. Trust me, you're going to absolutely enjoy it. Because again, these are the type of love letters to a franchise, to a piece of hardware I love. There's tons of Amiga fans out there, and honestly, as many good Amiga games that exist, there is some stuff out there that wasn't great. A lot of the ports back in the day weren't the best things in the world, so fans are coming over and basically making entirely new experiences that you can enjoy. And those floating platforms there, some of those are part of the bug fixing. You could follow through in previous builds in my experience, or your legacy basically just sink halfway through them but this is just fun the amiga is a piece of hardware if you love it you absolutely love it and if you don't know much about it it's games like castlevania aga that are going to get you into the hardware because every time i make a video on amiga people ask me to make more amiga videos and it's just not really my knowledge base so if there are any amiga games out there that you think i should cover in a mr fpj specific video on the core do leave me a comment down below because i'm always looking for recommendations as well but the Medusa heads here, their patterns, the graphics, the brown and kind of gray color scale, 100% work on the system. And that was definitely just Andy D's fault right there, falling directly into a hole. It is still Castlevania, the fall deaths are real, and you do need to time your jumps up well. But one more soundtrack sample, it is so good, and I'll be right back. Iconic music and it sounds great coming out of the Amiga sound hardware and if we just kind of go across the entirety of this experience We can kind of really just kind of rank this game as to how well it's coming together As far as the graphics are concerned outside of some visual glitches I'd say the colorways all of the animations the sprites and everything else look incredible on Amiga as far as the sound is concerned It is a fun translation of the Castlevania soundtrack to the Amiga sound hardware. So that's great as well Medusa here flying through on our little Medusa path 100% works this game just feels like something again that would have been released in a big box edition back in the day on Amiga. The developers here, and I have listed them in the credits below because there is more than one, they've done an excellent job of taking an iconic Castlevania game and giving it new life on Amiga. If it compared to one Castlevania game more than any other, at least as far as the style is concerned, it would probably be Akumajo Dracula on the Sharp X68000 or the remake of that on the PlayStation 1 Castlevania Chronicles. If I can compare your fan game and the Castlevania franchise to those two epic games you know you're doing an absolutely incredible job so definitely check this one out it's easy to download and if you have your amiga system set up on mr fpj it's easy to do there as well and if you do need any setup guides i do have them below so you can check them out and basically see how to get things set up but play castlevania aga it's a 10 out of 10 even if the file deaths are a 20 out of 10 you even get a little fun intro here just kind of explaining how the game works and that's always fun to see and i love those purples and reds in the background on amiga hardware they really do pop but that's the current situation with Castlevania AGA. They updated the demo a couple days ago, right at the end of October. Now we're basically at the beginning of November. And I can't wait to see the next time they update the game what we get. Be sure to that if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and tell me what's your favorite Amiga game and what's your favorite Castlevania game. For me, definitely Symphony of the Night's obviously going to win. Be sure to that we're done. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>